Tuesday, Wednesday and the forecast is looking dodgy for Thursday, Friday so I thought what I might do is book a different site so that I've got electric hook up and I can do some editing. If, I think it's forecast sort of thunder and rain quite heavy so I'll probably be stuck more in the van so if I put myself onto a site I can keep myself busy so that's my plan it's absolutely beautiful driving through the Cairngorms the Kelpies was good and the Falkirk wheel I'm glad I've seen it just one ticked off I was watching the Falkirk wheel and it's incredible the engineering and I just kept thinking to myself Bri would have he'd have been amazed but he'd have found that really interesting um, and it was decent weather yet well no actually it, it rained a lot yesterday but it was warm it didn't stop me cycling I just just got wet which I quite enjoy just going out in the rain I'm not really one to let the weather stop me although Thursday Friday if it's going to be thunderstorms I'm not daft you know I'm not going to go out in that I'll stay cosy in the van and uh, read, edit and YouTube. I'll have loads of YouTube to catch up on, so if I've not been watching your videos, don't take offence, I will catch up. This is new to me, being on the road, and I'm hoping editing works okay, because I use Premiere Pro and it's, it's a bit of a ball lake at home, to be honest with you, so I don't know what it'll be like on the road. We shall see. So yeah, I'm about, what is it, half twelve arrival, it's eleven o'clock, so an hour and a half away from Loch Ness. beach but there's nowhere to park down there it's all coned off but across the road from there is a little gift shop and I went in there and asked if I could park and she seemed fine with it it's open until 6 p.m. but it looks like they don't want any vehicles going down up to the actual beach See, they're trying to park they were looking before i might tell them it's a shame because there's a an old lady in there so she's going to struggle i'll go and tell them the doors in apparently serves nice food but i don't know if it's open today
So this is the Nessie Hunter Shack. Um, doesn't look like anyone's at home today, but it's beautifully quiet. Very peaceful. The truth is out there. morning slept like an absolute log the best night sleep in at least two days <laughs> because the first night the kelpies was noisy to say the least but at five pounds i suppose you've got you can't really expect campsite standards but there were people milling around the cars and sort of chatting till all hours but here at Loch Ness Campsite, so peaceful. And looking at the pop top, it looks like it may be a good day. So the sunlight's already coming through. It's half seven. I'd be lost without that shelf. It's a great storage area. Excuse the toilet roll. So yeah, I might go and see if I can have an early shower. Let's have a look. Let's see. View awaits us. Just need that sun to poke through.
absolutely stunning views up here. I'm not even sure where I am. <laughs> but that's Loch Ness there in the distance. Well, maybe it's that one over there. It's a beautiful place to get lost in. I drove to Fort Augustus and it's quite busy really and I thought I passed all these beautiful places on the way there and it's a gorgeous sunny day that I just thought to myself why why not just park up enjoy the enjoy the location I'm at rather than look for places to visit when the actual place I'm in is prettier than any of them so I'm just outside Loch Ness on the way to Fort Augustus and I've pulled into this beautiful little spot there's nobody else here I'll see if anyone else pulls in but it is a bit tight if they do it's um it'll be a bit cozy there's loads of little places to pull in I've already seen a couple of vans parked in passing places um, so uh yeah never know so I'm gonna get my chair out get my book out pop the kettle on have a brew and hopefully be left alone. That's my GoPro falling off the windscreen. little B road but you do get moments of just absolute peace just me and the ducks Right, it's day four. I'm just about to leave. Well, not about to leave, but this morning I'm going to leave Loch Ness Camping and Caravanning Club site. I've spent two nights here, two great nights here. 
Uh, the weather yesterday was absolutely scorching, cracking day. Um, I think we've got a couple of days of rain, possibly thunder now. Um, so I booked into another site because I thought if the weather is that bad, at least then I can use electric um, and hopefully Wi-Fi. You know, if it's that bad that I can't really get out anywhere. But if it's just drizzle and rain, I'll still go out and about as normal. Um, yeah, so jobs this morning, I've had my shower, I've emptied the toilet. Um, they do breakfast takeaways, so I thought I might have one of those rather than create more washing up before I travel. So I'm going to do that. It's a lovely site, right on the shores of the lock. I knew it was forecast rain this morning, so last night I brought the awning in so that I wouldn't be winding it in um, wet. So I'm glad I did that because it has fairly tipped it down last night. Now I did have uh, one rude awakening in the night about 1, 1.30. Uh, my carbon monoxide alarm was going off. Um, highly embarrassing. Obviously if it's doing its job that's good. But it did do that several weeks ago when I was at Blackpool with friends. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's been functioning since and not going off on other, on other journeys. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is try and replace that. Like now it's working again. Um, try and replace it because I think it's faulty. I don't think there's any issue with carbon monoxide in here. But if I put a new alarm in and that does the same thing, then obviously there is. But I think this is a faulty alarm because otherwise it would have been going off every every camping trip. So yeah, I'm gonna get that looked at. Obviously it's not something you mess around with, um, carbon monoxide. So if I can find a shop today that sells those, I shall buy another one of those. If not, I'll be using this one. Like I say again, it's flashing green. It is, you know, it is still working. Um, and I'd rather it go off in error than not go off in a real situation. Beach at Loch Ness campsite. 